Right back to Milky Way wishes uh, dream gl yeah. you know I give up. You should just start putting like abbreviations at the start of it and say yeah that. All right, that'll work. I'll do that next time. Oh God, lava. Yeah, we're now in a hot place, and uh, apparently it's a pretty cozy place because there's just a bunch of people sleeping here. Well, you know, you get that comfy, cozy, warm feeling, and uh, I can't wait for winter. It's a spa. Damn it, we've reached the hot spring episode of Kirby Superstar. <laughs> <laughs> Finally! These uh, are my favorite to criticize because they're all shit. We avoid this. Uh, no, no, hey. Oh. Hey. <laughs> okay. Out no. Outlaw Star, man. <laughs> That swimsuit, the hot spring episode, actually had a reason. And Persona 4 Golden's one was pretty good, too. Anyway. I lost ours a better reason. Well, real, okay. It's a real anime. Uh, yeah, a, a, the real one. Yes. It's from the 90s, so it's automatically so it's good, better. So, of course, it's good. <laughs> yeah, tell that to Tenchi. <laughs> I'm not even, like, kidding. It's true. <laughs> Yeah, let's not talk about Tenshi. Somebody's a purist fuck! The closer it got to the year 2000, the worse Tenshi <laughs> seemed to get. But now here we are in 2017, and oh, there's naked ladies right in the opening of War on Geminar. That's... Keep it classy, guys! I Keep still... it fucking classy! I still love how we talked about this in Doom, and even then, we st you still had malice for it, and it just gets worse, and you die it again! T oh, I'm, s I'm still sore about Tenshi. It still, <laughs> it still makes me hurt. I, s I still feel, man. Oh, God. You know, eventually I'm gonna get a series that's gonna be ruined for me, and then we, we could be like the two old guys talking about the bad times. Like, uh, God, do you remember when they fucked up my franchise? Yeah. Yours took a bit longer, though. Yeah, I'm waiting for it, though. I'm waiting for one of your favorite franchises to be fucked up forever. Uh, we'll see what happens with the Persona dancing games. Well, I don't know. I don't think you should take those too seriously. <laughs> come on, Atlas. Put in that one character that had, like, one line. I mean, come on. When, when, when you look, when you think about it... Having this kind of light-hearted stuff is not that uncommon with uh, games like Persona 4 and all that, because look, look at all the fan games that Steinsgate has ha uh, has out. Steinsgate has fan games? Oh, oh my god. Well, by, by fan games, I mean extra little side games that are far more light-hearted and, you know, quote-unquote not canon, but really canon, you know, that kind of thing. Well, you know, when you have a franchise like Steinsgate and Persona that have... You know, stories that are kind of serious, like really serious, you kind of need something lighthearted on the background. Well, that's the thing. Some of their spin-offs aren't that lighthearted now that I think about it. Son of a bitch! Because there's Linear Bounded Phenogram, which is just the same, which is just the events of Steinsgate through everyone else's point of view. Oh my god, that's that sounds awesome. Oh god. When are you, you gonna let's play, play Steinsgate? My, gotta play from Mayori's point of view. Like, ev never mind. I don't want to say anything. Never mind. Uh, uh. <clears throat> Go play Steins Gate. It's good. Anyway, uh, mm. back to Kirby, which is just as good as Steins Gate, uh, don't you know? So what do you guys get a Let's Play Steins Gate? Oh god, please stop. <laughs> At the same time, we do Persona 5. <laughs> never. I still have an idea for uh, Let's Playing Dungeon Rampa version 3. We just uh, <laughs> play let's let's play uh, Dragon Dragon Rampa one and two split screen at the same side at the same time. One plus two equals. <gasps> uh, oh my uh, god! And you know what? Maybe at the same time, I'll let's play Kingdom Hearts three, and I'll just play you know both of the compilation discs next to each other. Well, that's gonna be kind of tough because uh, you got uh, Kingdom Hearts one and two point eight, and then two point five. So uh, really, you're gonna be somewhere in, like the seven region if you're gonna be let's playing those at the same time. See, I thought they were doing something clever. You know, one point five, and then the next one would be called one point five, and then it became two point five. And I was like, okay, well, they almost added up to three, and now they've added up to four. So what's next? Oh, two point eight, and then like five suffixes. 
Yeah, okay. They don't care about names anymore. Hopefully, the games are at least playable and fun. See, that's the thing. It was yes, called two. It was called two point eight. <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Which means that when Kingdom Hearts three finally gets a release date, and we get close to that, we're gonna get Kingdom Hearts two one more time with everything, everything, probably even the first game packed into one, and that's gonna be Kingdom Hearts two point nine. Actually, you know what I'm gonna love is when Kingdom Hearts three comes out, and you have to look really close at the box. It says. Point one, so Kingdom Hearts three point one. <laughs> that would be great. And then you get uh, Kingdom Hearts two Ground Zeroes. And then of course the Phantom Pain has to come right after that because the story is so deep it needs to be split up into multiple segments. Sora is just like, why are we still here? <laughs> Comrades, it, I've lost. They probably should be saying that right now. I just watched an interview with Haley Joel Osment. He's like, yeah, I've been doing this role since 2001. It was like, my God, it has been that long. <laughs> come on, Sora. Come on, Donald. Oh, it's actually funny to hear how his voice goes from, eh, hey, little kid, to, hey. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I wonder how it's going to sound in three. It's going to be weird. We just talked to that whole planet. It was just a hot planet. I, I saw everything. You didn't miss anything, did you? That was a hot talk show we just did there. Yeah, this is a hot topic. Of course. Well, this planet looks kind of... It looks kind of boring. This is Cavius? It's Cavius. It's Cavius. Oh, Cavius. Excuse me and my pronunciation. Bugsy's not very smart. Uh, no. He just ran right in. And he's gonna pop here soon. Oh, uh, and boop. Rip in peace. All right. Well, and now we can finally get some work done. You know, don't have Bugsy holding you back. God, Wheel is OP. I know, I love Wheel. That's how we get the bomb power, so now we have bomb forever. So, I thought Milky Way Wishes was going to be, you know, uh, fight a boss, go into a room, hey, there's your power. Beating mini bosses also nets you powers? Uh, certain mini bosses sometimes. Like sometimes the powers are hiding in in different rooms. Sometimes they happen uh, when you beat a mini boss or something like that. They're just hidden all over the place, great cave offensive style. No, oh, all right. Except split up across levels like Dino Blade. Hmm. And we're in their space. Franchises. You know, it's towards the end because we're in space. Well, yeah. I mean, all bets are off as soon as you hit space. Because you're space. Space! That's a dated reference. Excuse me. Always makes me laugh. <laughs> God, I want to play Portal again. I think I like the second one a bit better. The second one is better. Like, just, be by just because far. You know, it's everything a sequel should be. God! Ah. Yep. Even more death. Yeah, no. Actually, I think the. The point where Portal 2 became the better game is uh, was actually the opening. I really like that opening, and then actually the very end was kind of one of those moments. Is like, no, no, yes, that's exactly what they want you to do. Oh, cool. For, for me, it became as good as Portal by the opening. For me, it surpassed it, but at the potato part, and uh, it transcended by the end. <laughs> it went farther than God. Farther than Gabe wanted it to. Which means we're never going to get Portal 3, because there's no way we can top that now. N nope, can't count to three. It still can't count to three with any of the franchises. I think they even confirmed Left 4 Dead 3, or it's like it had been rumored for years, and that still hasn't shown up ever. It's always rumored for years. I mean, I think we talked about this in Dead Rising 2. It's going to be Left 4 Dead 2.8 <laughs> Fragmentary Passage or whatever. <laughs> Gonna give it to Square Enix to make it. Oh, I want to make that box art now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead. You got Sora, Donald, and Goofy holding like M9s or something like that, shooting zombies. You my Val Phoenix. <laughs> Dude. Oh, oh my God. Hey, you got. Hey, we got Hammer now. Hurrah. Oh, sweet. You know, I bet you anything. There are Left 4 Dead 2 mods with Kingdom Hearts in them. Bet you anything. I don't know how popular Kingdom Hearts is anymore. Oh, it's still there. It is still extremely popular. I wouldn't know because I loathe Kingdom Hearts. Oh, I know you do. And in fact, uh, by the way, people who tell me that the uh, like, like the mid games are something completely different, 
You're going back to the same thing. You're, you're basically playing the same game again. I love when people tell me the mid-cool Chain of Memories is a really good game, even though they've played it before. The exact game again. Yeah, that was cool. I'm probably going to get a lot of shit, but I really don't care. Well, the thing for me about Kingdom Hearts is that uh, in, well, everything, really. I hate it when they always talk about heart and believe in yourself. Friendship. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's good to have friendship and believe in yourself, and yeah, that that's that's all fine and dandy and all good, but I can only take so much of it. <laughs> and it really gets on my nerves really, really fast. <laughs> so what if they make the entire game about Ooh. that kind of shit? It's like, oh, believe in the heart of your soul and me and then when you throw the fucking midquills, the story becomes incomprehensible! Oh yeah, e even like major gaming magazines are saying trying to dissect like the worst made story in game history, not the worst, but the most confusing. Because it is. Like I I played through all of Metal Gear. I I can tie together that uh, that game series pretty easily, even though it's absurd. It's absurd, but it's beautiful in its absurdity because it's a tapestry of stupidity, but it's a beautiful tapestry made of the finest silk. Yeah, I've, I've well, always told people easy. that uh, Kingdom Hearts' story has always been garbage, but the gameplay more than makes up for it, and it's just cool to play. I'm still waiting for uh, Song of the South to make an appearance in Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Well, I mean, we're nah, going man. toy. Oh God, we're going Toy Story in the next installment, so you never know. Sora, you need to avoid the Black Lands. Why are they called the Black Lands? Um, let's get the crows from the Jungle Book to explain something. One of them gets a node blade. He's just like, get out, get out, get out, get out. <laughs> oh man. I love making fun of my favorite game series, because it's so easy. It's easy. Especially if it's Kingdom Heart. Yeah. Can't can't make fun of Kirby, though. I mean, I can make fun of Wham Bam and the fact that it's a... That's a... Uh, I question the depiction of Wham Bam. Eh, and, uh, and the comments are right. There is a crystal version of him in Superstar Ultra. I'll show him off there. So uh, he's looking pretty nice for himself. Yeah. I mean, he got crystallized between games. That's cool. Also, I think he's just the face to save on memory for the Super Nintendo and all that. I, I, that's exactly what I was thinking. Uh -huh. It's like, you know how some people, you know, take it too far. It's like, what was Nintendo thinking? It's like, it, it's a memory thing, okay? I mean, that's why uh, Fatty Whale is just like five sprites stretched yeah, yeah. over the background. It, exactly. I mean, there's only so much you can do. Oh, god damn. Oh. God damn it. I'm not yeah. doing good against Wham Bam. Yeah. You know what? Speaking of that... Uh, I've actually got something, and it, it always comes up. It came up more when they announced the Persona 3 dancing game and the fact that female protagonists are probably not going to make an appearance. Uh, do you know how much time it actually took to make two really long games in one? And you know how much they had to get rid of from the original game to make it so that you could play two different protagonists? And how the writing is radically different, not for the story, but for everything else in the game? So what you're saying is, it's better off if we never see her again. I'm saying, when there's no female option in your Persona game, it's because it's hard to do! Now, uh, I was linked in interview for a reason there wasn't a female protagonist, and it was a really dumbass reason that probably shouldn't have been said. But, I'm, willing to, uh, I'm willing to bet that's also a bit of a translation, uh, like, some context is lost in translation, because that sounds like a very Japanese thing. It's like, we wouldn't think there'd be enough time, but I, I'm pretty sure with the actual language that he used, he probably meant it softer than that. But well, no, still, it, it's still a dumb reason. I mean, you it, don't have the time, it wouldn't be worth it. Wouldn't be worth it. I, I, I well, know, I mean, man. his reasoning was the same as Ubisoft's. It's hard. That's what shouldn't have been said. But what my is reasoning it? is, it's just, it's just overly difficult to write the same length of a game again from a completely different perspective. And you've already spent, like, years upon years doing one. And so it actually comes out within your lifetime, just like the fact that you got one story. There, that's all. 
I'll uh, escort you off of your soapbox now. Thank you, thank you. I I, I needed that because I got a hell of a lot of it on that day. Anyway, we're on Meta Knight's ship! We're on a planet called Mechai, actually. Mechai. 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 It's called Mechai in Ultra. Mechile. Mechai. Meche. Sounds like a beer. Hey, you want some Mechai? Sweet <laughs> hoppy Mechai. Oh, put in some hyper candy and you're ready to go. Made with sweet hops and hyper candy. <laughs> Mechai is the ale you need to get what you need done. Yeah, to cure what ails you. Jesus. <laughs> it's like Four Loco and uh, Red Bull. And <laughs> oh my god! No! <laughs> See, Cloven of chugging like five mics hard mixed with a Red Bull. Uh, oh god. Uh, <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. Ah, <sighs> don't chug right. beer. So, now we got four abilities left. We're missing four powers. Oh, We've almost cool. got them all, and I think Mechai is the last one. So, I don't think you ever answered Mech's this. One. Sorry. Because yeah. I never asked you. Do we have to have all the powers to beat Milky Way Wishes? We don't have to have all the powers to beat Milky Way Wishes, but we need to have all the powers to get 100%. Uh... Wow, what a jerk. Oh my gosh, what a jerk. Because, uh, there's not only the uh, counter for the abilities in Milky Way Wishes, of course, but there is also the counter for the uh, save file itself on how much 100% I've done for uh, all of the games. Hmm. Oh, they thought of that. Yeah, yeah. I had plasma, though. Oh, here we go. Oh, beam. plasma or beam? Beam works too, but I want oh, plasma. Okay. So I think there's one more power somewhere in here. Ow. Jeez. Oh, here we go. This guy's gotta have something. Is that. Is that like a, a little guy in like giant arm pads or whatever? Shoulder pads? Ah, oh, we got plasma! Yes! yes! We got the best! Finally. Best power! Mm. Oh, y'all dying. <laughs> oh, God, this is. Was that like a jail cell for all the plasma monsters? I don't know. What kind of place is Mech Guy? This place to harvest the souls of the people of Popstar. So again, another reason you know how a Kirby game is ending is when they start throwing mini bosses at you mm -hmm. well, towards the end. So here we are with a gigantic elevator shaft and tons of mini bosses at each of these separate rooms, usually. So what do you think we gotta do? Fight them all. You gotta be all the bosses in order to advance. I don't know if it's all of them, but it's uh, most of them. Well, fortunately, they don't respawn, which is what I was worried about. <laughs> We got There's... plasma to make short work of them, though, so luckily we got this first. Yeah, I noticed that when I was playing through uh, Triple Deluxe. The end of the game is basically, hey, can you beat all the bosses again? Okay. It's it's just, it's uh, pretty much the game's way of saying, in conclusion. Pretty much, yeah. It's going down a checklist of everything it did, and it's like, hey, do you remember how to kill these guys? Can you do it one more time so we know you're ready for the boss? You gotta save the prettiest, most sparkly uh, backgrounds for the last ones. You gotta mm -hmm. have uh, some difficult enemy placements. You gotta have a boss room. You gotta ha have it a little bit easy towards the end. And, of course, the secret in the moon. Yeah, I, I really admire Kirby for a lot of its ideas and, like, a lot of its designs, but when you really think about it, their endings are... Kind of the worst part, save for the final bosses. Worst part or uh, least best part? Let's go for least best, because I, I don't want to use worst in the same sentence as Kirby. Yeah. So, least best part because repetition. So there's one level left here now, Half Moon. It's the star level. Half Moon, is that one word or two? It's two, well, two words, but it's one word. 
Hey guys, can we go to Half Moon today? Half Moon uh, or Half Moon? Well, uh, I see uh, my aunt's over at Half Moon, but uh, I was I was gonna go ahead to my job over at Half Moon later. Ah, so, okay. uh, do you want to head to Quarter Moon in about 15 minutes? <laughs> Full Moon. No, no, no. We, we don't want to go there. That's where the uh, adults go. I, I, I get paid next week, so, you know. <laughs> well, we'll wait for Full Moon, okay? Oh, it's something special. You know, my birthday's next week, and we'll just, yeah. <laughs> oh, the place where all the special things happen. It's, it's like, that. that's where the party's at, is Full Moon. <laughs> Woo! Full Moon! <laughs> There's always that one guy in the back. I love Full Moon! Welcome uh, to the hippinest, hoppinest club and all a pop star, Full Moon. It's too hippin' and hoppin' for Kirby, but for his Half Moon, because, uh, well, he doesn't want to drink too much. And also, free hors d'oeuvres whenever you come in, so perfect. Down this door we get Mirror! Oh, cool. I did Mirror, yeah! Is that how many left? Two? Two powers left? I think that's... Two or three. We're gonna go and back and uh, get them. Or, uh, get, get the remaining uh, powers before we end the game, though. Okay. <laughs> you know how you're, everybody's always trying to make Kirby out to be like a, a monster or something? Just It's just because of his upbringing. He's really misunderstood. Because uh, of his upbringing. But, but the day he comes up with the power Adam Kirby, Smasher. Boy, you fetch me a beer, you hear me? <laughs> I want her no back sash, you sucking in motherfucker. Vacuum ass piece of shit. <laughs> Dad, no. <laughs> Don't just you talk me. back to me, boy. <laughs> just let me eat. <laughs> Please. <laughs> you don't need to eat, you fat enough. <laughs> you need to eat, eat the air. So Kirby's like depressed eating all the time? <laughs> Is that what's happening? Is that what I'm hearing? I'd say he's bulimic, you know, he sucks things <laughs> in and throws it out. Yeah. Eating disorders oh, no. are a serious illness, and you should definitely go see a, see a licensed individual if you are suffering from. Oh, I'm dead again. You just got cooked to death! You think Chef cooks meth? It's time to cook. Have you watched it yet? No, of course not. Damn it! Just because I want to make people mad. Boy, no, you know, I, I, no, I just haven't had time. Once the saga, that, uh, the, the, the saga goes, I'm trying to get this motherfucker to watch Breaking Bad. <laughs> trying to move him away from fucking shonen anime all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I'm... Okay. It's because... Of... Other things that I may or may not be able to talk about, but eventually I will have more free time coming up. I'll do it. Trust me, I'll do it. Because I want All to. Right. You, you better, because it's, it's damn good. Uh, no, we'll do it. But uh, something funny I do know about Breaking Bad is uh, the the actual meth, the candy they used, was so good that people actually uh -huh. got addicted to it on set. I, I love that fact. Well, uh, <clears throat> they actually had uh, DEA agents working on the set to make sure that the process of making meth looked realistic. Oh, we got oh, wow. one power left. And uh, they didn't tell the producers every step involved in making meth, but they told Brian Cranston. <laughs> oh, that's gorgeous. I they love it. They wanted to be accurate. Hmm. So we, so we got to go find that last power, and uh, you're not going to believe where it is. Is that the very beginning, or is it where the sun and moon are fighting? We'll get there. Right now, we gotta deal with this boss again. They saved the best for last. The RPG boss! Version 2. <gasps> this is the witch. He's dead. And now okay. we're at the evil knight! Whoa, cool! It's just a flesh wound! Ha ha ha! I don't get it. Uh, it's something about Monty Python and the uh, life of Brian. Oh my gosh, that's so wrong. That is wrong. Is is very wrong. I need to watch more Monty Python. Yes, you do. Watch the Holy Grail. It's a dragon, dude. 
That's Smog really cool looking. Smaug now, yeah. My wings are a hurricane! <laughs> you sounded exactly like Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> I, I applaud you. <laughs> if you watch Sherlock enough, you learn to figure out his mannerisms. <laughs> Uh, have you ever watched the the behind the scenes mocap of those scenes? Oh, it's hilarious to watch. Oh, it's hysterical! I love it so much. I am fire. Fire. I am he's he's got, got like the big mouth death. and everything. Always looks like he's smiling. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, four honesty points. He's secretly a scaly. He goes to Anthrocon all the time. <laughs> Dressed up in a two-story smog costume. Well, hey, if you act, go with what you know. Sure. Yeah, it's, I, ain't, uh, I ain't judging. Secretly, it wasn't that hard of a role to pull off. All right, so where is that last power? Where could hmm. it possibly be? Oh, no way. You're not even gonna believe this. No way. You don't even know how beginning it is. No way. To do. Oh my god. Hey, it's ice. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god. There we go. Uh, we got it, it all. <laughs> Let's get out of here now. <laughs> So how hard were you kicking yourself there? Oh, pretty hard. Pretty okay. Hard. Good, so now, good. So now we're here at Nova. Ooh. Nova is how we're going to make the sun and moon stop fighting. Ooh. Whoa! That looks so cool! Yeah, man. It's like a Neko Time Watch sun god. I was just thinking that. It's like you put a bunch of, you know, anthropomorphic clocks together and you get this thing. That looks like a deity of time, and Marx just fucking, uh, just took all the power for himself. That's Marx. He fucked us over at the beginning. Huh? Oh, what cool. the hell? Yeah, he tricked us, so now he has all the power of the cosmos, and now he's gonna fuck everything over. The reason why the sun and moon are fighting is because of him! <laughs> <clears throat> hmm. So the power of stars combined, Kirby grabs a fucking racer spaceship thing. As Nova goes to destroy the sun and moon and kill Popstar, Kirby goes in his little racer thing and speeds off towards Nova. How exciting, right? Dude. I know. That's so cool. I know. I know. We'll see you next time, though. No! <laughs>